Here's Prescott. Looking left side, and it's complete. Here's Dak. And he can't get a throw off. He to throw, Prescott. His throw in. Now Dak. He finds his target. It's Schultz. And he's into the end zone. No flags. It's a... They'll try and run it in. And he is in. And the Super Bowl is tied. The field goal range, not much. In a tie game, you don't want to do anything crazy, right? I agree with you on that one. Risk reward, okay? If you go for it, what is the... They'll set up a throw. Eluding the pressure right. And that's going to be too high. Yeah. Run the football. You want to run the ball, but you can't do it in this situation. Not nearly enough time on the clock. You have to really navigate against a tough defense presented against you. That's complete to John Ross. Here's where it really pays off. Able to move, evade, and is accurate throwing on the run and picking up a first down. A bit of an opening there on the first down run as they get this forward. So now this one's going to rest on the foot of their second-year kicker. This undoubtedly the biggest kick of his life. He's got the leg, but it's no good. He missed it right, and that changes everything here in OT. Overtime in a playoff game, awesome setup. Remember, the rules are the same as they would be in the regular season. That's exactly right, Brandon. Remember, the receiving team, if they score a touchdown, game is over. But if they kick a field goal or don't score, the other team gets a chance and score. They win the football game at that point. If both teams kick field goals, we keep playing. If a defense scores, let's say the receiving team gets the ball, doesn't score, or they throw a pick six or fumble and gets picked up, the defense scores, game over. But here's the best part. Destiny here, they have the football in overtime. Obviously, a touchdown would win it. And I think teams around the league still having to make that transition. Let's face it now, the ones who are doing it best know they need to go down, attack, put the ball in the end zone, and not leave it up to a field goal and give the other team a tail into. Well, when you have to have plays, especially in a spot as you just described, what OT, you've got to go to the guys you can trust and you know are going to make the plays. Well, they say, it's not the X's and the O's. And this is caught, and he's into the end zone. Move over, James White. You've got a new rival for best finish to a Super Bowl ever. And the Lombardi Trophy has a home in South Florida. The Miami Dolphins are your Super Bowl champions. For the victors getting to hoist that Lombardi trophy, you know, we've talked to guys that have done it, and they say there's no better feeling in sports. I don't know how there can be. The, the, the journey to get to this game is incredible. And then to finally break through and win it when all eyes are on this game alone because there's nothing else going on, that's just got to be absolutely amazing. That, the task, incredible. But the accomplishment, forever.